Hey creators, stop everything you are doing. Photoshop beta just dropped the craziest new filters and it's going to blow your mind. It's called embroidery and it can literally turn your photos into stitched masterpieces. In this video we are going all in exploring, experimenting and creating some embroidery magic. So grab your creative threads and let's start stitching magic in Photoshop. So before starting this video for your information, as of recording this video on the 25th of January 2025, this feature is currently only available in the Photoshop beta version. And maybe by the time you are watching this video, this feature might already be available in the regular versions. So the embroidery filter is a new filter that is coming under the parametric filters. And the parametric filter is a new set of filters that has been introduced in the Photoshop beta version. And you can find the parametric filters inside the filters tab under the neural filters. And there is a lot of new filters introduced in the latest version of Photoshop beta version that is coming under the parametric filters. And embroidery filter is one among them. In order to apply the embroidery filter, first you have to select the layer in which you have to apply the filter and you have to click the embroidery filters and after analyzing it for a few seconds you can see our embroidery work has been created and after you created the embroidery work you can just hide your reference image inside the layers panel because the embroidery filter or the parametric filter uses the reference image just for the purpose of creating those filter and it created a whole different layer for the filters to apply so you can just hide your uh, background layer so that you can get a better result you can see the filter has been applied on the top of your basic layer. You can, so you can just hide it just for now and you can just uh, uh, collapse your layers tab. And after you created your effect, you can see you have now got a two different tabs. One is the property tab and other is transform tab. And when we expand the properties tab, you can see various different options that we'll discuss in this video. And at first you can see the resolution. I will recommend you keep the resolution between high and ultra. You can see resolution plays an important role in your effect as it determines the level of details that is going to be present in your filter and the effects that you are going to uh, tweak just now. And the first one is the preset tab. If you are someone who is familiar with these editing softwares and stuff, you may already be familiar with the presets tab. Presets is something that you can save your custom editing preferences or some of your custom editing uh, effects that you can save it as a whole new effect so that you can use it as a drag and drop uh, feature to apply it to the next layer to save your time. So I'll show you how the preset work at last when we applied all the uh, efforts and tweaked every settings. And next comes the random seed. And next one is the random seed. And under random seed you can see a randomize button. And so the randomize button works as a global button to get various different variations in your edits without changing the details or the efforts that you have applied. And the next one is the light angle. And the light angle is going to play an important role in this uh, effect. Because light angle is going to determine the perspective of your uh, filter that you have just applied. As the default value it is coming at 45 degree angle. When we change it to 180 degree angle you can see the light has been shifted from this source. You can see the light ha lighting has been shifted from this source to this source. You can see now the lighting is coming from this side. Because you can see all of the highlights are applied on the right side of your filter. So for this one I will just change it back to the default value. And next one is the number of colors. So in this image we can see the logo is having two colors the white and black. But as a default the Photoshop beta version has automatically applied it to the maximum available numbers that is 8. And as of recording this video today the maximum amount of number of colors available is 8. Irrespective of how color intensive your image or how basic your image the maximum available number is 8. So I'm just recording this video in between I was editing the main footage to show you how the embroidery filter will look in a color intensive picture like this one. So we'll just go to the layer, go to filter, parametric filters and apply the embroidery filter. And just change the resolution and just change the resolution to the ultra. And for now let's hide the reference image. The, and you can see the Photoshop beta just applied the maximum available number that is 8. And when you scroll down you can see all the 8 colors are listed here. And you can just select one of the colors and select the custom color and you can just tweak it as you like. I'm just going to change the color to somewhat like a light shade of blue. And you can click OK and it will change the color to this blue. When you unselect this uh, custom color you can see it is changed back to the original color that is pink. And you can see the Photoshop has managed to arrange the colors in such a way that it matches with the maximum available number of colors that is 8. But the reference image is having a lot of colors that is a billion number of colors in this one. As you can see there is a lot of gradients in this logo. That is all I was trying to point out in between the video. Sorry for the interruption you can just continue watch the main video. So if you know how many colors are there in your image for this one we already know that there is only 2 that is black and white. I will just change it to 2 for the ease of work. 
because when you scroll down all below you can see two tabs called color one and color two and when you change it to eight you can see it has created multiple color layers up to eight layers and we don't need that much because we only have black and white so it's better to change it to the amount of colors that is present in your image for this one that is two so i'll just change it to two and next one is the density slider so the density slider is the master slider of all the effects and all the settings that you have tweaked in this effect so as a default it is coming on 150 value so you can see uh, it's just the basic effects applied i'll just uh, try changing it to 200 to show you how it works when i change to 200 it just changed uh, the entire effects to more detailed version so on simple words we can call densities as the resolution slider for your image the more the resolution the more uh, clearer will be your image but for the density i will recommend you keep it uh, between 200 and 300 because when you increase too much it will just ruin your image and it may not be looking that much perfect so i'll just recommend you keep it between 200 250 or under 300 uh, maximum next is the main element in this filter uh, that is the embroidery styles you can see the four different styles that is coming under the embroidery styles uh, so this is just a drop down menu of different embroidery styles that is the fill and the fill along with outline the outline only and the top stitch so first uh, we'll explore what is the fill one and inside the fill you can see various different sliders that is the fill outline tightness thread and under thread you can see thickness length and some of the basic sliders like the smooth edges imperfections so uh, at first you can see fill outline tightness so as a default it is coming at 0.25 let's try changing it to 1 and you can see some of the effects are played and before i start recording this video i have tried different variations with this slider and i think this slider needs some more work and i think it's still some kind of buggy stuff so as of now i will recommend you keep it on the default value that is 0.25 as of now and next one is the thread thickness and thread length uh, in this one you can easily see the each and every thread that is in this embroidery filter and the thickness determines the thickness of this each and every thread you can see when you change it to something like 2 you can see it increase the thickness for the uh, for the purpose of uh, better visibility i will just decrease the density to 100 and you can see uh, it created a lot of impact and now when you change it back to 5 now you can see more clearly what thickness means when you change it to 0.99 it is changing the thickness of each and every thread that is visible in this effect and the next one is the length in this one you can see the length of each thread that is starting from here and up to this and when you change the length to 0 0.001 you can see it just uh, decrease each and every thread that is visible in this effect when you change it to 1 you can see it just increase the length of each and every thread so i will recommend you keep the thickness and length on a medium basis so it will not ruin your image or this effect so for this one i will just change it back to the default value which will retain the perspective and transformation of the image that you used as a reference and the next one is the smooth and edges slider so the smooth edges slider just increases the smoothness of your image and increases the roundness of this effect when you change it to somewhat like 0.5 you can see it just enhance the effect and increase the roundness of the image and the effect that is applied and earlier when i was testing this slider i found something strange in this one because when you try to increase up to the maximum level it just resets the slider back to the default position retaining the value that we have just given so the more you go the more it's going to increase the roundness eventually ending up disappearing your image so you can press the ctrl c to bring back your effect so i'll just change it to 0.25 that is perfect and next one is the imperfection slider so in this image you can see some of the random values of the length and the rotation scale etc so the imperfection just deals with that randomization so on default value it's coming at 0.25 i'll just try changing it to 2 and show you what it makes you can see it just increase the randomization of the scale rotation and scale of each and every thread when you change it to 0 now you can see there is no randomization of length or rotation scale or anything of this thread so i'll just try to keep it on 0.5 or let's just keep it at 0.25 that is best so that it will just make it look like more realistic stitching and that is all about the fill inside the embroidery style so the next one is the fill along with this outline 
So when you change it to fill along with outline, you can see a new option popped up called the fill height that we'll discuss it now. So before that, you can see uh, it just created a fill and an outline of this effect or this uh, image. So the fill height determines the bevel and emboss that you can see inside this uh, layer style blending option. Here you can see the bevel and emboss. It's something similar of that thing. So the default value is 0.5. When you change it to 0, you can see it just created an embossed effect of this filter. So when you change it maximum to 1, you can see it just created 3D extruding effect. I'll just keep it on the basic uh, default value of 0.5. And the thread thickness, length, smooth edges and the imperfections are all same as of the fill layer. So I'm not going to show you uh, separately that. And the next one is the outline. So uh, at the first we saw what is fill and the next one we saw what is fill and outline. So the next one is the outline alone. And for this outline effect, the fill outline thickness slider is going to be a little bit helpful. Because when you increase, it will just determine how thickness you want of the outline. The more you go, the more thickness it will become and when you maximize this slider, it will just change it to fill. So I will just try to keep it in the default value. So in this one, you can just uh, increase the thickness to adjust the thickness of this outline, which will just increase the resolution, you can say, or the density of the stitching. The more the thickness, the more high detailed it will become. And the length is same as uh, previously we discussed the length of each and every thread that is being used. And let's change it back to default value. And the next one that is coming under the embroidery style is the top stitch. And this top stitch is one among them I found it more interesting because it has a lot of capabilities and possibilities within it. You can create various different variations and various different designs from the top stitch embroidery style. You can play with the fill out and tightness slider to adjust the tightness of this uh, top stitch. I'll just, for now I'll just change it back to the default one and the thread thickness. I'll just decrease the thickness and also the length of this one and you can see it just created dotted pattern of this embroidery style just decrease the thickness and you'll get a dotted pattern now you can see we have got a dotted pattern of this thread but you can see the other part of this image is kind of not visible that is because of the color matching with the background that is when the color tab is coming into clutch you can see under the color tab first you have to determine which color is representing which one to know that either you can play with this height tab or you can just click the custom color which will just change the custom color and you know what color it is. For the demonstration of this video, I'll just change the color to somewhat orange. And you can see now it is more visible. And you can also play with these imperfections to change the alignment, rotation, random rotations and everything. So for me, I think the top stitch is one of the best embroidery style that is available in the embroidery filter. And that was all about the different embroidery styles in this embroidery filter. And next comes the color tab. Color tab as I previously told you can see the number of colors in this uh, filter. And under the color tab you can customize each and every colors that is available within this embroidery filter. For this one we only have two colors that is the black and the previous white that we just changed to orange for the better visibility. And you can also adjust the height of each and every color. In order to show that clearly, I will just change the embroidery style to fill. And you can see in the fill tab, we are getting more options. That is design and orientation. And when we change it to fill under the color tab, you can see the designs in each and every color. And under the design drop down menu, you can see three different designs. That is the satin, twill and split. And you can use this to change the design of each and every color that we have just separated. For this one, I'll just change it to dual. And that is a dual design. And when we change it to split, you can see we have got a different design. And we'll change it to split and change the orientation to 90 degrees. And you can see we have got a whole different design from this effect. And there is also sliders for the density and height. We will just increase the density to 0.8 and you can see it just increase the amount of that whatever tool that available just increase that tool effect. We will just change it to 1 and you can see it increased even more. And there is also option for the height. We will just change it to 0.8 and we are not getting much of difference in the height inside the fill option. We will just change it to fill and outline. And now let's try changing the height. You can see there is a subtle difference in this one. We'll just change it to 0.8 one more time. 
and you can see there is a little bit of the difference in that one we'll change it back to the fill option and just change it to certain and in order to see the change in the height we'll just increase the thickness to 0.8 also and you can see it just created a whole new design now let's play with this height let's change it to 0.4 and you can see the difference clearly let's try to change let's change it to 0.5 and decrease the thickness to 0.5 and let's change the color to to certain but change the orientation to something like 45 degree now that is perfect our image has been changed to whole different level and in the color too i'll just only change the orientation from order to 45 and this is our final result collapse this drop down menu and come to the top and create a preset out of this tweaked setting i'll just tap this plus icon you can just see here and you can name your preset whatever you want like i'll just name it orange and white i'll just give it ow and create and under the presets tab now you can see the ow when you change it to default you can see it just reverted back to the default value as same as when we apply this filter and when you just click the ow that is the orange and white that we just edited it will just change to that filter that is the use of presets tab if someone who is not familiar with presets is watching this video and now let's come to this master slider density when you change it to 150 you can see it just entirely changes the density of the all the effects that we have just applied and it just override the density of each and every effect that you can just see now i'll just change it to 300 and you can see it just created more detailed version of that uh, effect i'll just change it to 254 now oh wait, sorry i'll just change it to 200 and this is the effect and now let's see what the randomize will do let's click the randomize you can see it just created random seeds out of this okay for this one we are not getting much of the randomization effect so i'll just uncheck this uh, custom color and just increase the thickness a little bit also the length and change it to fill plus outline and now let's use the randomize seed you can see there is subtle changes or the subtle changed variation we are getting i'll just use the random slide and you can see the different variations we are getting from the same effect without changing any of the effects that we have applied and that is the use of random slide if you want you can just give your own random numbers as seed and it will just take a couple of seconds to render and your result is right here in front of your screen and that was all about the properties tab inside the embroidery filter and just collapse and we'll just collapse the properties tab and expand the transform panel i have tested and tried this transform panel before recording this video but i haven't seen any of the change whatever i did or changed in these settings for example if you want i can show you changing the scale it will just take time to render for nothing even if you want you can change the repeat x to whatever value you want and it just creates and it just creates nothing uh, even if you press resets nothing happens only the value changes the scale is still at this changed value that we have just given even if we gave zero nothing changes i assume this is a bug that they will fix in the later version of this photoshop beta or when it comes to the regular versions and after applying all the filters now let's try changing it to the ultra variation and you can see it just created more detailed effect and it just created more detailed version of this embroidery filter and i'm telling you one more time this feature is currently only available in the photoshop beta version as of recording this video on the january of 2025 and maybe the time you're watching this video this filter might already be available in your regular versions and that was all about one of the filters in the new set of parametric filters that is available in the photoshop beta versions and that's it for today guys i hope you had fun exploring this amazing filter with me if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more creative content like this and let me know your thoughts in the comment section about these new parametric filters i'll catch you up in the next one until then it's me pixel decoration signing out stay inspired and have a creative day